I added 11 players from 11 different leagues to a super team. We will only have one year to win all possible trophies, but it's not going to be that easy. Every player in the team should have different nationality from the others. And to make it even more harder, I will sign players of different ages. So let's spin the wheel and see what league will be the first one to choose player from. And it is going to be Premier League. So from the Premier League we have broad choice. Players like Mo Salah, Erling Haaland, Rodri, Ruben Dias. Great goalkeepers like Alisson and Ederson, but actually I'm willing to start with midfield position. Kevin De Bruyne, greatest playmaker right now in the world, 32 years old, Belgian maestro, welcome to the team. Next player is going to be from Championship. I'm going through the list of players in Championship and I think I got the player we need. Let's sign Wilfred Ndidi from Leicester, he's 79 rated and he's 27 in his prime. Let's add him to the team. Next player is going to be from MLS. Everybody knows who I'm going to choose from MLS. It is of course going to be Messi, 36 years old. In my opinion, the greatest player of all time are coming to our team. I think I'm going to take Captain Armbit from Kevin De Bruyne and give it to Messi. Next player is going to be from Liga Portugal. We are having a choice here. We can sign Portuguese players like Rafa, Ricardo Horta, Pedro Gonçalves. Maybe we can sign Orkun Kyokchu or Taremi. But actually, we are going to take Diego Costa. 23 years of age, 83 rated, who has great potential and he will be our number one. We already signed four players to the team. We have four different nationalities and all players have different ages. Just to remind you, we are not allowed to sign players with same nationality or same age. Next league is going to be Eredivisie. We have the players likes of Irving Lozano, David Hanchko, players with great potential like Santiago Jimenez. I'm going to choose Lucharel Hertruda, right back and center back, 79 rated, 22 years of age. I think he can become either right back or center back for us. Next league is going to be Super League, Turkish League. I don't think we have a great choice from Super League. I am tempted to go with Lucas Torreira, CDM or centre mid position, he is Uruguayan, 28 in his prime, 82 rating, yes I believe he can be good holding midfielder for our team. Oh, here we have Saudi league, you know we could choose to sign Ronaldo but sadly we already have Portuguese player in the team. Everybody is guessing who I am going to take. Of course it is going to be Neymar. We are going to recreate Barcelona attack, having Neymar and Messi in there. But actually we aren't, as Neymar is 32 as well as Kevin De Bruyne. And we already choose Kevin De Bruyne. We cannot have Neymar in the team. Yeah, that's why we are going to take Sadio Mane, also a left winger from Saudi league. And we hope that he can deliver as much talent to our team as Neymar. Mane is coming from Saudi league, he's 31 years of age and he is representing Senegal. Next league is going to be Serie A. We have great talents in Serie A. Lautaro Martinez, Victor Ozyman, but we cannot sign them as we already have Argentinian and Nigerian in the team. So I'm going to take the controversial choice here. Theo Hernandez, 26 years of age, left back for our team. With that, we are going to miss out on Kylian Mbappe. I know, I know, but I have a plan. Let's stick to it. We are left with three leagues. We added eight players from different nations and different ages. Now we have to sign a right back, center mid and a striker. And we need to be smart to bring balance to this team. Actually, next league is going to be Ligon. And I already decided whom we are going to sign. As we are not allowed to sign Kylian Mbappe and we need to fill the gap in the right back position, the only correct choice would be Ashraf Hakimi. He is 25 years of age and he will be our right back. Okay, we are just left with two leagues, La Liga and Bundesliga. If we get La Liga first, we are going to choose Jude. Otherwise, I think our choice should be Harry Kane. 
and it is going to be Bundesliga. I am going to take a risk and sign Harry Kane from Bayern Munich. He is 30 years of age representing England. I know, I know, everybody is talking about his curse. He is not going to win any trophies. Trust me, I'm going to take Harry Kane as a striker and win every possible tournament in this career mode just in one year. And last player is going to be obviously from La Liga, as we are not allowed to sign Jude Bellingham. Frankie de Jong, Ernesto Valverde and we desperately need a midfielder, we are going to sign the GOAT, Luka Modric, a Ballon d'Or winner, 38 years of age. Welcome to the team. With signing of Luka Modric, we completed the team of 11 players from different leagues, different nations and different ages. I simulated till the end of the season, let's see the results. First game we won 2-0 against Real Madrid in the round of 16. Second game we won 3-2 in aggregate. Come on, we are through to quarterfinals. In quarterfinals we are matched up against Union Berlin. 4-0 victory first game. Second game 2-1 victory, 6-1 in aggregate. In semi-finals we are against Bayern Munich. First game is a loss and the second game we pass Bayern Munich as well. 4-5 in aggregate and we are in the Champions League final. We have come to an end of the season with World 11. We are against Liverpool in Emirates FA Cup final. In Premier League, we are first with only 79 points. Second is Manchester City with 77 points. And I guess still in Kevin De Bruyne for them cost them this title. In Carabao Cup, we were eliminated from Liverpool in quarterfinals. And of course, in Champions League, we were in the group of death. With Milan, Paris Saint-Germain and Borussia Dortmund, we were second with 10 points. In round of 16, we matched up against Real Madrid and won in aggregate 3-2. In quarterfinals, we destroyed Union Berlin 6-1. And in semi-finals, we were better than Bayern Munich 4-5. And in final, we are against RB Leipzig. Let's check the stats for our players. In terms of goal, it is Harry Kane, 32 goals and 13 assists. 26 goals and 7 assists from Sadio Mane, 24-11 from De Bruyne and 17-9 and from Messi. In terms of ratings we have Costa 87, Hakimi 88, two center backs are pretty low rated, Hernandez is 87 as well, Modric lost 2 rating as well as Messi, Torreira is 84 rated, Kane 90, Mane 87. First, let's jump to the FA Cup final. Liverpool beats us 2-1. Darwin Nunes and Martinelli with the goals. They made a comeback after Modric opened the score for us. Let's check this Leipzig squad. They somehow made it to the final. Ben Yedder, Openda, Xavi Simons, Elmas, Aydarak, Losterman, James. But I think our team is better. So let's prove it on the field. Hernandez, Kane. De Bruyne and great save from Peter Gulashi. De Bruyne tries to find Harry Kane. He has space here. Come on, Harry Kane. Need to score this one. Great shot from Harry Kane. 1 0 in the beginning of the second half, 52nd minute. 1 0 to World 11. Openda now is with the ball. Cuts it back. Elmas and Leipzig equalized instantly. I don't understand what our keeper is doing. Harry Kane lobs the ball to Theo Hernandez. And he volleys it home, 90th minute, 2-1, now we are definitely going to win this game. Theo Hernandez justified his presence in this team with this clutch goal. And yes, here is the final whistle, we won Champions League with World Eleven. Having in the team players like Messi, Modric, De Bruyne, Harry Kane, he finally got some silverware with us. And he was actually the man of the match in the finals. And Messi is going to lift his 5th Champions League trophy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check other content on the channel as well.